Hey guys, I'm Ava, and let's talk about Pokemon. So today I'm going to be opening up a collection of Rement Pokemon figures, specifically the Swing Vignette collection. If you don't know about Rement, I'll just explain it later as I'm opening. But first, I wanted to show you two very, very exciting cards that I've gotten from Japan. All of this came directly from Japan, so I've been waiting since about September to get all of this stuff, and I'm just so excited to have it and so excited to be able to share it with you guys. So. Without further ado, the two cards that I got are the Rayquaza Pancho Pikachu and the Shiny Rayquaza Pancho Pikachu. These cards are absolutely gorgeous and they will run you a fair penny nowadays. At least $500 for a copy. Fortunately, when I ordered these through Mercari Japan, I was able to get a decent price. Still very expensive. Even after customs and everything, this was still significantly cheaper than what I would have had to pay through eBay. And I'm so glad I bought them. I was actually also trying to get a Rayquaza one, but because the way it works is you request what to order and then they will put the order through. By the time they were going to place the order, it was out of stock. So I was only able to get these two. However, the Mega Charizard X Pancho Pikachu is on my list and I really want to get it, even though it's so expensive. So these two cards are really special and they're very rare. They look quite interesting. If anything, this hollow pattern almost looks like a fake Pokemon card, although I can assure you that they are real. They both have the same kind of hollow pattern, although I would say this one is a bit more holographic. This collection is really beloved by a lot of people, and I think it's in a similar vein of the Mario and Luigi Pikachus, so I'm so glad to have these in my collection because they are so iconic for both American and Japanese collectors. Alright, that's enough about these two guys, but I wanted to open up this box of figures and share it with you guys. So this is a sealed box, as you can see here. This label says that it is a complete set, so I will be getting one of all six figures that are in here. So these are three of our figures. As you can see, we have a Butterfree with a Pikachu, we have our Charizard, and we have a Mimikyu. And we have a Mimikyu. On the other side, we have our Flygon, Chandelure, and Mew. I am so excited for this Mew figure. I love the way it looks. And I've really been wanting to get these so that I would have something to put on my shelf to display. Let's break the seal on this. This label is surprisingly durable, but I think I've got it. Oops. Okay. There's no going back. All right. So inside we have six of these figures. This is actually a bit smaller than I was expecting. I don't know really what I was expecting. I've seen a few people open these online, but I don't think they're super popular in the US. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I've never opened one of these before, so I don't know how the quality will be. Okay, so we have our six boxes. All right, I have no idea what is in each of these, so we will be opening them and seeing. I do know that we will be getting a complete set, which is a huge relief. I wouldn't have bought this otherwise. So I think that's a big appeal of drawing the complete, or er, I think that's part of the appeal of buying the complete set because you know that you're going to get every single one and I'm brutalizing this, I'm sorry. So let's see what we have in our first one. Oh, I think it's gonna be Chandelure, okay. So this is kind of cool because you just get to put it together yourself and the quality on these seems surprisingly good. I thought the swing vignette one was really special, so I wanted to get this one for sure. I did order four sets of these, but this is the one I wanted to open first. I think I might open all of these on camera. Okay, so here is our chandelure. I'm not sure how to hang him. Oh, oh wait. Wait guys, I think I'm really dumb. Here is our little hanger thing. I've never opened one of these, like I said, so I don't really know what I'm doing at all. Okay, so it seems like we are meant to attach this somehow. Okay, in the back of this guy's head, we can attach this, it seems. Yep, that seems to have worked. And then we can pop this through here. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. this Guys, this isn't looking too hot, I gotta say. Am I just doing this wrong? Oh. I was not expecting such a high level of difficulty from this. I think I might just be really stupid, but we're gonna try this again. Uh, I'm hoping that after this one, the process will be a bit smoother, so I'm not here all night. Uh, this is 
still much better than what I was doing earlier today. I spent about five hours on econ projects. Uh, well, eh. So that's as good as this one's getting. Uh, it does actually match the picture here where he's leaning forward a bit. So I guess I was not lied to in the advertising. It just does look a little strange. As you can see at the base, it also has the Pokemon's name and its number. This is very hard to read, but it does say 609. So overall for my first one, I'm very pleased. If you didn't know, these go for about at least $70 a set. That's what I've seen on eBay and actual Retailers are charging a lot more in the US for these. I've seen upwards of $100 for a collection. However, I was able to buy these through Baiyi. Um, so I bought them through Yahoo Japan actually for about $32 to $35 per collection. So I paid about a little less than $6 for this. I did pay customs, of course, but that's really not so bad. For the quality of this figure, it looks way more expensive than a $6 figure, so I'm very pleased so far. I would highly recommend these, assuming we don't have any issues going forward. There is a bit of a learning curve to setting them up, it seems. However, I think that might also just be me. So on to box number two, we have, this one appears to be Flygon. I'm not a super big fan of Flygon, but all of these have at least one Pokemon that, you know, isn't my favorite. However, for the price and also because I am a completionist, it is definitely worth it. It seems that most of these have a candy of some sort in them. However, I don't think this one did, which is quite tragic. Uh, I don't know if I want to eat this. I don't really trust it. I'm brutalizing this. Oh, fuck. Just a, just a moment. Just a moment, technical difficulties. Our Flygon has survived. It really did go flying, true to its name. But I think the reason these have candies in them is because they are sold in the candy aisle in Japan. So, you know, to be considered candies, obviously they have to have some amount of candy in them. So I, I like this one a lot, actually. This one looks really great. I'm very happy with this. It does look like the model, I would say. So we can compare this one to this. They are very similar. The only thing I will say is that he, my guy is at quite a different angle, but I think that's just me and I can probably fix that. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we are cruising. So this has our fly gun and it has his number as well. He is looking really sick. This one I think is probably cooler than the Chandelure just cause he hangs way better. It works so well cause he is a flying type Pokemon but I do like the stand for Chandelure a bit better. But overall I'm pleased and I am glad that we opened these ones first because they were the ones I was least excited for. In our third one, we have Butterfree and Pikachu. Here is our candy. This one is really cute. <laughs> it's kind of strange coloring. Um, that green is not the loveliest color I've ever seen. This green is not the loveliest color that I've ever seen. That also rhymed. However, I do get why they did it. It's, you know, spring pastel colors. I just would have chosen something else. So now we can attach our Butterfree. Uh, we're gonna just stab Pikachu right in the head. I hope that doesn't cause any uh, long-term brain damage, but we can then put this on. Oh, this one's really cute, guys. This one's cute. I like this one. Look at the Pikachus riding on it. Oh my God, that's really precious. Um, yeah, so I love this one. I think it looks really great. It's super cute. The Pikachu looks amazing. And yeah, this is really great. If you guys can pick some of these up, I would highly recommend it. They're just pretty nice quality for how much they cost. And they're very fun to open because I don't know what is in each one. I don't know if I would buy these as singles where I might double up, but if you can buy the complete collection, which is usually a better deal anyway, I would highly recommend doing so. Okay, so we have Drift Bloom up next with Mimikyu. I really am getting these in the order I want because I'm the type of person who likes to save the best for last and I strongly prefer Mew to any of these. The Charizard one is also cool, of course, because it is the big boy Charizard. So the Charizard one is also cool because of course it is the big boy Charizard, but my favorite is definitely Mew. And so I'm glad that I'm getting these in order of my least favorite to my most favorite. That's really great for me. Half this video is just me tearing open bags. Uh, you know, I lost my kitty scissors, at least as of right now, I don't know where they are, which is quite sad. 
actually, guys, I, I just found my scissors. I looked for them for approximately 30 seconds before finding them. And I, I do feel like a bit of a dummy right now because they were there the whole time. I wouldn't have had to be so violent with these. We have our number four, who is also <laughs> very cute. Mimikyu is adorable. This is so cute. On the label, it has both of them. However, that is most definitely not the English name of Driftbloom. And then we have our Mimikyu. These are super cute. I love these, especially from far away. You guys looking at them kind of see what people would see on display. They look really perfect. You can't really tell that they're just made of like cheap plastic, if I'm being frank, which I do really like. Next, we have either Charizard or Mute, so I'm very excited. Okay, we have the one I've been waiting for, Mew. I am I'm so happy. They did this one a bit differently. Mew is in a ball of sorts. Now, this one is a little strange, but also kind of cool. It appears that our Mew is meant to be in a bubble. Oh god, I'm just like, I'm just impaling him. I feel kind of bad, I'm sorry. He's really cute, I love this. I hope this stays all right. But let's just put it on oh my god guys this looks so freaking good guys this looks so good this one is so cute it's so perfect you know if you really don't like the bubble you can't just hang you by his tail i'm just saying but i think for now we're gonna keep this guy in the bubble who knows what germs he has from thousands and thousands of years ago we don't need another pandemic so let's keep him in his bubble i'm so happy so far and we have our final one. This should be a Charizard. I think Charizard's a good choice because he's a flying Pokemon and everyone loves him. I've been thinking more about my display and just what I want to collect. Basically, I want to have like a display that looks really good. I've been kind of prioritizing what I'm going to display more lately, which is why I was willing to buy four of these, four sets of these. So I spent about $170 on these after uh, customs taxes and shipping which is a lot of money but but I've been more interested in buying things that I can display and that I can show people and that I can look at every day because having a bunch of cards in a binder is great but I also want to be able to look at things all the time which is why I've been buying fewer things that are maybe a bit more expensive and just more exciting to look at. I've been buying a lot of ETBs. This one over here, the Cosmic Eclipse one in particular, is one of the newest ones I have. Guys, I don't know if you noticed how coordinated my color scheme in the background is and with my um, Feet Blossom map, but I'm really proud of it, so I hope you guys are too. Let's put up our final Charizard, and then I will be able to display these on my shelf. I most definitely do not have a lot of display space. However, I do have some and I try to use it as best I can. We have our final figure and it is the burnt lizard himself, Charizard, or also known as Lizardon. He looks really great. I think this one might be the best looking and I am reluctant to say that as someone who's not a total Charizard stan, but I think this one looks really good. I do also love the look of the Mew. I think these two are really great and they're the ones I really wanted to buy this for. Uh, the other ones I think I will be opening on camera because this was really fun for me. I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you're okay with content other than just talking about the Pokemon TCG because I want this channel to be about what I love to collect and that's more than just trading cards. I love figures. I have since I was a kid. I've collected different kinds before but now I'm getting into, you know, Pokemon related stuff because I love Pokemon so much and I think this will make my display look so much better and these just make me really happy to look at, especially for the price. I think these are really great that you can put around your display, around your cards, and I think it looks so much better on your display to have a variety of things rather than just cards. It helps fill out the space a bit more, so that's why I have sealed product as well. But when you add the figures and stuff, it really does complete the look of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this type of content down below and if you think I should or should not continue to make it. I have more of these and I really wanna open them on camera, but if people really hate this, I guess I won't. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. I actually lied, I'm back just for one second. I tried this and um, it's not good. It has the texture of one of those chewy mint gum things. I'm not a huge fan of mint or gum, but it tastes like green apple, but it also tastes minty and it is not good. Okay, that's all from me for real this time. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.